So in the hope to find the calmness, I bought this few baldrian. This is like a, baldri a valerian root, passion flower, and then also lavender, um, lavender tea. So like hopefully that I was thinking that if I buy them and then if I brew them and drink them, I will find the extraordinary piece that I'm looking for for almost for 10 years. And then I just tried it last night. I tried the lavender, um, lavender tea. It was very, very bitter. I just made it so much that maybe it can influence me. That it can knock me out. As it is said, in the, that is very strong, potent. It can change your uh, nerve system. It will calm you down. It will make you sleep better. It will make you knock out. So I drank it. I just drank it not one but twice uh, in the in the in the late evening. So thinking that it make me sleep. It did not make me sleep at all. Uh, one was jewelry and then I continued to be jewelry until the time that I fell asleep and I had a bad dream again. Hopefully, uh, by thinking, uh, I, I thought that maybe it will be better uh, if I drink uh, uh, lavender tea. The next day I tried the passion flower tea. Passion flower tea is uh, believed to be strong against anxiety and depression and then things like that. I would say it didn't really work out again because I just drank it. It was just a normal and ordinary tea. It didn't make any big difference about my general state of mood. The only hope left is for this Baldurian tea. Hopefully it will work because I already paid for the more than 20 euros, 25 euros for three of them. If it's work, it's good. If it's not work, it's okay. It's a good experience for me. So recently I have been having a little bit like an elevated mood and then seeing like a Something is making me really different about uh, the daily activity. I'm feeling more energetic. I'm feeling more uh, happy and then serenity. So I was thinking that maybe it was because of the tea that I was tr previously drinking. So I was drinking Hollander, wild Hollander, and the Tulsi tea, something that makes me very chill and calm and happy. So I tried it also today, seeing that it will make it the same result also, but unfortunately it did not. But guess what? I found something else. Something else that is really, really big found uh, find of finding for me that what what we are, what we are looking for is not exactly calmness, like a sitting down quietness. No, no, this is some kind of like a part of the day, maybe like a ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Let's say max, maximum one hour of the day. But what we need is uh, the high level of energy, like an energetic body, energetic mind. Desire to do things, motivation, productivity, to do something like it, create, to invest our energy, our body, our full potential to do things. Not just sit down and then be calm and then be quiet, be chill. No, no, these are not the things that we are supposed to do. And then for that, we need to eat things that we give that gives us a certain or potent energy. There are different ways of the creating and then consuming or how to say conserving the energy and then you can find out more about this in previous videos so I'm not going to talk about it about that I'm going to talk about another finding of mine that is really really working well with me so this is um, pickled onion the pickled onion is making you strangely strong I'm talking about the man's perspective okay the woman's might be different but the man's perspective it's a very strong very very strong potential um, testosterone booster. It boosts your testosterone. Once it boosts your testosterone, you know what happened. Just like you're going very energetic, yeah, your mood is changing, you're happier, and then you want to do more things because you have a high testosterone level means a high motivation, high desire to do things, more power to do things, like a desire to go to the gym, create something. And then when you talk to people, your energy level is different because you have a higher testosterone level and your energy is felt. So I believe that the onion, especially uncooked onion, has a potent to increase your testosterone level and then increase your life quality at the same time. But the problem is when you eat onion, raw onion, you have a stinky mouth and then you cannot really talk to people or just eat onion and go out and then be social. So it was a problem for me in the beginning also. So I had a problem. I didn't have a, I didn't see it as a problem, but it's like, it's like socially polite to do things like that. But recently I find out that if you want to get a benefit from the onion, still not to get the bad side, let's say like a, like a bad braise of the onion, you just can pickle them like this. And when you pickle them, the onion smell is disappearing, but the same potent is still staying there. It's not bitter, it's not heavy to eat, 
it's just like a pickle. It's good for your back your gut factory. It will give you very strong gut. It will boost your testosterone. It will boost your mood. It will boost your general be general well being. Okay, so there are a lot of things about good things about the uh, onion, but the most important thing is it boosts your testosterone and it boosts your mood. I used to try onion before also when I had some trouble with my anxiety and depression. I used to eat onion this this day and the next day I used to have a very different and bright mood. So recently I'm trying to rely more on onion since I can eat it without having a downside of it, which is a smell. And I'm really seeing a very different result. Of course, I'm, I will try more about the teas and the things like that. But hopefully, the onion is the, one of the best things that I found. I have found, uh, for, of course, for me, some people will find that like a tea or things like that more potent and then giving them calmness. But I think the onion is giving, them, okay, onion is giving me more calmness. If you're thinking about um, trying it, just look right in the internet how to pickle the onion and then you will find out it and then make it your make it for yourself and then try it and you will see if you're a man if you're going to try it you will see the difference but you can just eat the onion raw onion and then you can find it also it's better to eat it at uh, the raw red onion it can be also the yellow one but the red is more potent than the yellow one i believe and then if you want to get rid of the bad smell you just can pickle them and then you can eat them every day in the morning or afternoon because of beta, it doesn't hurt your stomach and it will give you boost of energy. Yeah, that's all. Thank you very much.